Good morning, everyone. It is 11.20 a.m. on Sunday the 21st. I think I don't have my watch on. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Sunday, February 21st. I was right. So, uh, February 21st. Uh, I've been two nights home from the hospital. Uh, overall doing well. Um, if I could just get rid of this cough, I would be 100%. Um, but because of the cough, I'd say I feel like 85 to 90% better because that cough really takes it out of me. Um, but it's been good to be home uh, in my own bed without being pestered by nurses for blood draws and, and vitals and all that fun stuff. Um, yesterday, I only went out one time, did what I had to do, and I was right back in. Today, I'm not sure I'm going anywhere. Um, I have no plans to. So, uh, I've been up already, been to church at like 8.30 this morning, and uh, had some breakfast. So, Overall, doing well. Just going to do some things around the house. One thing I am missing is therapy. Um, and that is going to be resuming this coming week. I actually missed, I think, three, three sessions of therapy. I missed one uh, due to weather. And then two um, <clears throat> due to being sick but I am so ready to be back at it um, it's uh, much needed but anyway I'll see you guys here in a minute tonight's dinner is chicken fajitas this has a grilled chicken breast with rib meat in a tangy chili sauce uh, you can cook this on the stove or in the microwave. Uh, this time I did it on the stove and I will throw it in a tortilla shell. So we'll see how it turns out. I've never had this before. Here is the finished chicken fajita mix. Uh, all finished up here and ready for later tonight. It takes about 15 minutes to cook that on the stove. Um, I sampled it. It was pretty good, so looking forward to trying that tonight for dinner. Not sure what I'm going to make with it. Two twenty-five p.m. and my friend just helped me finish uh, packing up a box here that needs to be returned via UPS. Uh, the vendor was like, uh, yeah, you can just drop this off at the UPS store. I was like, yeah, I don't think that's happening. Because, uh, I could just see me trying to put a box on my lap, push it down the ramp. Yeah, a, a big box like this would be a mess. So anyway, UPS is going to come pick it up for me. So, it's all packed. Hey everyone, so it's about 3.25 p.m. And I'm back because I just had an interesting interaction with a UPS telephone representative. So that package that you saw in a previous clip, um, I called UPS to schedule the pickup. And... It said that it wanted to charge me for the pickup. Um, or I could take it to a UPS store. So I was like, that's not going to work. So I spoke with an agent and I explained to her, hey, I'm, I'm in a wheelchair. Um, I'd like to have someone pick up this item and see if there's any way to waive the charge. 
Well, we went around and around, and she was like, so you want to schedule a pickup? And she was like, there's going to be a fee for that. I said, I understand that typically there's a fee, um, but given my situation, I'd like to see if they can make an accommodation because I'm in a wheelchair. She said, so you'd like to schedule a pickup? And I said, yes, but do you understand what I'm saying? So again, I said to her, hey, I'm in a wheelchair. Um, I need someone to come pick this up for me. And she just paused. And I said, do you understand what a wheelchair is? And she was like, no. I said, no, sir, I do not know what a wheelchair is. I was like, oh. Um, so I had to explain to her what a wheelchair was. Now, I don't know if it's because maybe she's from a country where they don't have wheelchairs or what the case may be, but I am totally blown away uh, by the fact that an agent doesn't know what a wheelchair is like. I mean, I, I guess I thought they were well known everywhere, but uh, anyway, I I guess education happens everywhere, and uh, but I did manage to be able to call the uh, vendor who was expecting the item, explain to them the situation, and they are taking care of getting. Um, UPS out here to pick up the item for me, but I was totally blown away by the interaction with UPS, so Yeah Hey guys, welcome back. It's about five o'clock and I'm sitting down here to enjoy my dinner I just gave the fajita mix a try and I'd have to say I give it about 4.5 out of 5 stars uh, So with that being said I'm going to go ahead and end today's video here. I hope you all had a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. If you haven't already, be sure to click the red subscribe button, and then click the bell right next to it to turn on all notifications. Take care, stay healthy, and God bless.